Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I wanted to share with you how to make this Daisy's stead earrings using rhinestones. We're going to be using some rhinestones as I mentioned before and I'm going to be using this kind of like tool that I did a while ago. It's a rhinestone picker. It's really easy to make. The DIY is going to be on the cards if you want to check it out. I'm going to be using some super glue for this. And I'm going to be working with a plastic bag. This is a tiny one, but you can use a Ziploc bag as well. Anything that's plastic. The color of them doesn't really matter because we can paint them anyways. But you just need seven per earring. I'm just going to be adding some super glue, like a blab of super glue. Just don't add too much though because you don't need too much. And I'm just going to add one in the middle and then six around it. It's actually pretty easy, but you just have to kind of work fast because super glue dries fast. And then I'm just going to add some more uh, super glue on top. I'm just going to wait for that to dry and then I'm just going to peel it off. It should come right off. I'm going to be working with some ear posts, my super glue again. And since my ear posts are bigger than my uh, like daisies, I'm just going to be cutting the edges of them until I have a square. And then I'm going to be gluing them with my super glue. Uh, on the back of them. I'm going to be using some acrylic paints and this tiny brush. I got this one from NYX, the makeup store. It's one of those brushes that you can use to dry uh, lipsticks. And yeah, I'm just going to be painting this with that white acrylic paint, giving this V coats, letting it dry in between coats. This piece of a block of foam that I cut it and with my pliers. Then I'm going to use this dotting tool that I do have the DIY on. I'm going to blink it on the cards and I'm going to use this to add a tiny dot in the middle, like Malcolm in the middle. Okay moving on i'm gonna let it dry if you make a mistake though or if you don't like how it looks you can always before it dries I grab a piece of q-tip with some water and just remove the paint before it dries and then feel free to cover it again with some paint then as a final step i'm going to be using this gloss and this brush my gloss is from a local brand i don't really know the name of this one but i use the one by sculpey as well or you can use top coat as well for like for nails giving this one coat and then letting it dry in my block of foam and yeah guys these are the study earrings that i want to share with you hopefully they don't look like eggs and they look like daisies that's why i suggested you to not use a lot of super glue because it goes all over the edges i personally think they are super cute they are so easy to wear you can pair them up with anything pretty lightweight and really easy to make actually and it adds something really bright and summery to you know any outfits but yeah i really hope you like them if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up check out more uh earrings and accessories that i have on my channel subscribe for more let me know what you think of this ones and share them but yeah thanks so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye whoa nope new